And guys, a little bit of trouble at Kennedy Space Center today. A Starliner capsule built by Boeing went off course after a successful launch, apparently due to an engine problem. So our David Curley is in Cape Canaveral with the latest there. Um, David, if you can just explain to us what exactly went wrong. Well, Kimberly, this was the final test for the Starliner, a very important test to carry humans back to space from American soil. So launch was fine. Uh, the, the, the booster got it up to where it needed to be. Then the second stage, which is called a Centaur rocket, is supposed to get it into orbit. And the best example I can use is when you're making an off-ramp on, uh, off of a freeway, you want to be at the right speed and the right angle to make that turn. Well, the problem with the Centaur rocket was it didn't fire because they were listening to, or the computer was actually looking at the wrong clock. So everything was automated and everything's supposed to happen at a certain time. But looking at the wrong clock, the Centaur did not fire. It did not get this vehicle into the right orbit. And that's the problem. So they had a decision to make. Can we actually use the fuel that's on board to get up to the higher orbit and make it to the space station, which was part of the mission to dock with the International Space Station? They decided, no, we don't know if we have enough fuel. Let's protect this vehicle, the Starliner, and make sure we can get it back to Earth. So that's what they have done. It is in orbit. They are going to do some more tests, but come Sunday, Day, it is going to return to Earth at this point and land at White Sands in New Mexico. This is an unusual capsule compared to what SpaceX is doing. It actually lands on Earth with some airbags. So that's an important part of the test. I will tell you, NASA and Boeing tried to spin this in the best positive way they could that, you know, we had a good launch and we hope to do a good landing, but they failed in getting to the space station. That doesn't mean that they can't actually carry astronauts to the space station on their next flight, but it is in question. And of course, it is Boeing versus SpaceX as to which one, which company will be the first to carry astronauts back to the space station. Yeah, and David, I'm just curious, how long um, was NASA and Boeing preparing for this mission in general? Like, how long does it take before you actually do the launch? Well, it's, this has been going on for years, but this program, it's called the uh, crew missions that uh, basically SpaceX and Boeing were picked out of a number of, of companies that wanted to actually be the contractor that worked for NASA to take astronauts to the space station. Uh, they can actually put it together another launch in, in a relatively short period of time, but it could be months. And SpaceX, which has already flown to the space station, which with its Dragon crew uh, capsule, has one more test to do as well. It's called a pad abort test. If they pass that, then they may get the OK to go ahead and go to the space station. This is a very expensive program for the taxpayers. Uh, nearly $7 billion, Boeing $4.2 billion of that for what was supposed to be two test missions. This was the first one. They've got another test mission that, and then six other missions that they're supposed to be going to the space station. But I got to tell you, they, they tried to make this sound as if uh, a lot of things went right and some things did go right. But this is a major fail for this program and for Boeing, which has already been battered with the 737 MAX issue as well. Absolutely. Um, David Curley right there in Cape Canaveral with the details there. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.